Hey guys, Lou from Naduma here, back once again, and this time we have some more networking knowledge for you. Here's a situation you're probably familiar with. It's Saturday night, you're playing CSGO, Halo, whatever your favorite game is. Your parents are watching YouTube, your brother's downloading the latest patch for Call of Duty, and your sister's watching Netflix. But most importantly, your gameplay sucks. It's laggy, unresponsive, spiky gameplay, and it makes it impossible to enjoy or play your best in. Why does that happen, and can we stop it from happening? Stick with us, and we're about to find out. Okay, so for this, I need you to imagine your network as a highway with traffic heading down like every lane. The traffic on the highway is, well, your traffic. All of the data that's traveling through your network. The highway itself is your bandwidth. The maximum amount of cars, in other words, data, that can fit on it at any given time. But no matter how many lanes a highway has, or the amount of bandwidth that your network has, rush hour packs it out, and things slow down when everything gets busy. The reason this happens is because of a bottleneck somewhere in your network. Usually, this is your actual bandwidth speeds from your provider. This bottleneck can only handle so much traffic at once, causing a queue. It's kind of like the networking equivalent of a traffic jam. This traffic jam is what holds up your network, leading to delay. And when your game packets are delayed, that leads to lag. The thing is, gaming traffic itself doesn't take up too much space on the highway. After all, we were playing Quake 3 in 99 on 56k dial-up, so gaming's never needed much space to do what it needs to do. However, activities like big downloads and streaming use up as much bandwidth as they can. The benefit that provides is high quality video, or it finishes a download as quickly as possible. The problem with this though is that traffic jam situation. A maxed out bandwidth means your gaming packets get stuck in the mix of everything else trying to use your network at the same time. This is also why it doesn't matter how fast your internet speeds are. The bandwidth hogging applications we just talked about will still use as much of it up as they possibly can. You can see it for yourself on your own network by running a ping test under high load. We've linked a great site that tests this for you and shows how your connection fares when congested with tons of traffic. If we run the test, our results tell us how our latency changes under congestion, as well as how our connection performs for tasks like gaming. So we can see the problem here, but what can we do about it to make sure our games don't suffer next time your roommate is binge watching Netflix? Well, the easiest solution is to put our gaming at the front of the queue every time. You can do this with traffic prioritization. It's often part of a capability found on good routers called QoS. This allows you to label different traffic types or sources as important, so they always get VIP treatment and get put at the front of the queue. Different router makes and models have different forms of QoS, so setup can vary, but it'd be amiss if I didn't point out that our own QoS in Duma OS comes with patented features you can't find anywhere else. All of these features work together to ensure that your gameplay always gets the treatment it needs and it always runs as smooth as butter. If you want to know more about just how we do that, you can check out our ultimate QoS guide to learn all about it. But that wraps up another vid. Now you know why other people in your home can make your gaming sessions laggy and you know how to solve it. Check out our channel for more content on lag and how to optimize your network. We'll see you next time.